Hi everyone, I'm Gabby, data analyst for BT Provider, and today we'll try to create a linear regression by model by using Tableau Sample Superstore data source. We'll start by creating a new worksheet. Let's call it Profit and Sales. Uh, here we'll build a scatter plot by dragging profit on row, sales on columns, and let's put customer name on detail. Let's also switch to the analytics pane and add a linear trend. Let's grab this trend line and let's do a linear one. Once we do that, we can easily spot the regression equation see on the tooltip. This equation shows us how the profit changes when the sale goes up or down. Let's try next to calculate a profit distance from, for our model. Let's create a new worksheet. We can call it profit distance from the linear regression. And here, we'll need to calculate a few things. Firstly, we will define the slope. The slope is the calculated field which will show us the changes in profit when the sales increase or decrease. And the formula for it is this one. Once we have the slope inside, we will need to calculate the intercept. Let's start a new calculated field. We call it intercept. And what intercept is basically, it's the profit value when the sales is zero. The intercept formula looks something like this. Once we have that in place, we'll now create the profit regression equation, uh, which will be same as the one we saw in the previous worksheet. So let's build another calculated field, call it profit regression. Equation. And let's replicate the formula we saw there, which is the sum of sales time slope and where we add the intercept. Now that we have our calculated fields inside, let's try to remake the previous scatter plot. So again, sales on columns, profit on rows, customer name on details, and let's not forget analytics pane and the trend line linear. What we will do next is we'll bring the profit regression equation, switch to the data pane, get the profit regression equation, and let's do a dual chart with the one we have with the scale plot. So we'll do a dual axis. Um, let's not forget to synchronize the axis. And of course, what we need to do, as this is a um, table calculation, we'll need to switch the um, computing using customer name. Let's visually switch the profit equation to a line. So let's do a line here, and then the sum of profit. Let's just use the circles like that. What we still need to calculate is the profit distance. So let's start a new calculated field. Profit distance. Um, it will be a percentage. And the formula for it is this one. Now let's bring the profit distance to a color, then 
to detail. And again, the same profit distance. Let's, let's grab it on label as well. Of course, we will need it to be a percentage. So let's just switch the properties. Number format percentage, we can keep two decimal points. And as we did last time, let's not forget the switch to compute using customer name for all of them. Compute using customer name. The last thing we can do is maybe change the color range. So let's switch the color range. Advanced and we can say from minus one to one. Okay, and we can hide the additional axis. And now we're ready. So we can see the equation here and the profit distance. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day.